Hey, what's happening? It is time to bust open some 2020 Bowman Draft uh, Hobby Box. Pick this up from uh, the Tops website. Um, it was delivered today, so I am excited to uh, to bust this open. So, I'm gonna get going live here in just a moment. Want to tweet out the uh, the link to this. <laughs> So I did check my uh, local targets today. They had quite the line um, and apparently did not show up to uh, the, the target nearest me. Um, I popped in during lunch to, uh, to a different target and uh, I instantly turned around because there were so many people waiting. So going to tweet this out. So I'm excited. I love the Cubs checklist on this. I think there's seven or eight Cubs on, on the 2020 Bowman draft checklist. So that's great. So. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, here we go. Tonight's beer of choice for this break. Uh, vanilla. Porter, Snowdrift Porter from uh, Line and Kugels. Line and Kugels here in Wisconsin was actually the first um, craft beer I drank before I drank craft beer. Now it's pretty much the only thing I drink. Um, I'm not very good with uh, camera angles and, uh, and breaking, so bear with me here. This is just uh, just a for fun, share it on video, so it's video is not my thing. So here we go, 32 cards per pack, 12 packs per box. So this is a hobby box. Um, I think it's called a jumbo. There's jumbo and super jumbo. Um, so there are three autographs per box. There's the, uh, there's the pack. So I've got this at a side angle. I didn't want to, I was either not going to break these on camera, um, or I was going to do it in this, um, this setup that I have, um, because this is my shipping setup and it's just a pain to, uh, to move the computer and the camera. And actually my, my sorting table behind me is just, uh, an absolute mess. So here we are. So let's tip that up just a little bit. So we've got Grayson Rodriguez. Maybe if I try to, there we go. That's a good angle. Xavier Warren. Oh, nice. Bobby Witt Jr. Trevor Hover. Ethan Hankins, Jack Bloomgren, first Bowman. If you're in the chat, say what's up. Evan Carter, Texas Rangers, Zach Britton, Toronto Blue Jays. Some of these names are, are uh, new to me because I, uh, I bought some packs of first edition, but I don't think all of these are. All of the guys are in first edition. Zach's late to the party. Zach, no, this is my first pack. So you have not even seen the hits, and there's some color behind this door. Spencer Strider, first Bowman, paper, numbered to 150. So, Zach, you are not late to the party. You are just in time, my friend. I'm going to sleeve Mr. Strider. Now we've got the Chromes, Groshans. I'm going to those separately this looks like a refractor of emerson hancock the refractors are not numbered jimmy glowinky why is it called paper that's a great question so basically bowman has so many iterations that um i think there's a cub behind this one jordan nuogu that's my first jordan nuogu very cool actually shopping for some of his autos on ebay put him over here hunter bishop so uh there's a bowman chrome product and there's bowman 
And inside Bowman, there is Bowman Chrome. Hey, look at that. White Sox, buddy. Andrew Vaughn. Um, so there are, so basically it's, it's, it's easier to Jason Dominguez paper. I'll sleeve him up as well. Joe Ryan. So it's easier to call the non-chrome cards, Blake Rutherford. It's easier to call the non-chrome cards paper. Um, you know, it's just kind of a, a better descriptor than just saying Bowman. Um, I guess if you did say just Bowman, you should, you could assume that it's, it's just the base paper, but uh, yeah, it's, it's paper. So a lot of times if, if you're into breaks, if you ever do breaks um, and you do a Bowman product, if it says, sometimes they'll say paper does not ship. Um, that means you don't get like these cards. Um, sometimes there was a, a break that I saw this week. It, there was a spot for the, uh, for the, uh, paper base paper. So base paper would be a card like this. Um, but a, this would be a colored paper, um, because it's not Chrome, but it's not base. It's numbered to 150. It's blue. So, uh, and I still get confused on, on the Bowman products, um, because there is Bowman Chrome but then there is a Chrome set in regular Bowman. So it's, uh, it can be confusing. And then in some years, the Bowman draft are not numbered the same. See, these are BD 136. And I think, I don't know if I have any Bowman near me. Uh, I probably have some, I don't know. I'll look later, but uh, the numbering is, is confusing as well. So uh, just to recap, the biggest hits, ooh, Heston Kierstad on the on the top. The biggest hits in the first pack, Jason Dominguez, base paper, and uh, Spencer Strider, first Bowman, blue paper. So this is pack number two, and I'm going to sleeve Heston Kierstad up. He was, I think, was he the second overall pick? He was the second overall pick to the O's Orioles. Daniel Lynch of the Royals. Got some nasty reflection going on. I only have in this room one light, one light bulb. Um, and it is an unfinished room in my basement here in the card room. Um, I'm hoping to Robert Poison. In the next couple of years, my wife and I will be building a new home. And uh, my I will have two card rooms. I'll have a, an office slash Cubs card room, and then I'll have a card room, which will be basically a closet for um, a bulk of my cards. So we've got a purple base paper, DL Hall, numbered to 250. And the refractor, oh shoot, I did not uh, sleeve up my refractor in the last uh, pack. Sammy Infante, first Bowman of the Nationals. Got Kyle Isbell, and I think that's a refractor as well to the Royals. Oh, shoot. Uh, we've got Shane Drohan. Oh, and Casey. There's going to be some scratch. This one, I don't know if you can see it. There's some, there you go. Some really serious scratching on these. Um, and they've been like, not sticking together, but they've been hard to uh, to separate. Christian Robinson, Diamondbacks, Owen Miller, Zach Veen Chrome. That's a that's a biggie. Sleeve him up. Franchise futures. Seattle Mariners. We've got Emerson Hancock and Zach Deloche. I think I'll sleeve that one. Ben Hernandez, Royals first. Bowman. Thomas Sagisi, a new name that I, I don't recall. Zach McCambly, another name. And I follow minor league baseball pretty closely, but uh, I don't know some of these names. Liam Norris. A lot of Zachs, yeah. Another Jason Dominguez. It's two base papers. Tokoa Roby. Matthew Liberator. He came to the Cardinals, I think, in the Tommy Pham trade from uh, Tampa. Quinn Cotton, 
hardly any Zachs when you were a kid. Zach was like the popular name um, in my town. Speaking of Zachs, how about Zach Deloach, the Mariners? Um, Zach was a pretty popular name in my area. Um, I don't think I had a Zach in my class, but I went to college with a lot of Zachs. Um, there, was a, there was a Zach a couple years older, but uh, I was I met more Zachs in college than, than growing up, I should say. I think Zach, I always like, I loved the name Zach when I was a kid because of um, Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. I was a huge Zach uh, Saved by the Bell fan. Um, so I was a big, big, I thought that was a cool name. I hated Bo when I was a kid because um, nobody had that name, which now um, as I grew older, it was a cool name. Um, and coupled with my middle name, Spencer, I, uh, I appreciate my name much more than when I was growing up. So this is pack three. He, uh, Holden Powell of the Nationals. There's Adley Rushman. He was last year's chase. Tyler Brown, first Bowman of the Astros. Ryan Rollison, Rockies. Justin Lang, that's a first Bowman for the Padres. There's a, a base, Andrew Vaughn. White Sox. Gage Workman. Gage became a popular name, um, I think, what, like 15 years ago? Brady McConnell. George, what's happening? George with us. George, I butchered the name of your, I think, state. Lee's with me. What's up, Lee? Lee, I'm going to get to your box tonight. I'm going to open that sucker up, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, show it off on tomorrow's uh, Hobby Evolution. George got a grandpa name. Bailey Horn, another White Sox, first Bowman. There's my guy, Burl Caraway. That's my second Cub to go along with Jordan Nwogu. Here's a sky blue parallel. Daniel Lynch of the Royals. Oh, that's a refractor, Francisco Alvarez. And that is not... Was Francisco Alvarez in Bowman this year? Here's a Jordan Walker. That's a refractor. George, this is coming to you. Um, I have your stack of Cardinals, um, and I'm now building on it. Um, the line at the post office has been absolutely insane, insanity. Um, so I have not gone. I don't know. Can I can I ship on PayPal International? I'll check that, check that out because if I'll check that out tomorrow morning, and uh, if I can ship to South Korea using PayPal ship, I will do that because I've just not been able to to stand in line. I mean, it's just been two days in a row I didn't even uh, go to my P.O. box um, because the line was, was so bad. Wow, I got a base chrome and a refractor chrome of Francisco Alvarez. This is a pretty sweet insert. Carson Tucker. Getting some text. Make sure it's not my wife. Nope. It's Friday, so we may do uh, do some Chinese takeout or something tonight. Carson Tucker insert. This has been a pretty good pack. Um, Zach asked, uh, who was that last Sox? I don't think it was. I think it was Horn, Bailey Horn. I'll go back through. Was it, uh, I think it was a base card, right? Was it a base card? Ronnie Mauricio. Nico Hallsizer. Owen Miller. I think Hall Sizer, uh, he had a first Bowman in uh, the 2020 or the uh, earlier Matthew Liberator in the uh, original Bowman, Bowman flagship, I guess we can call it. Jordan Adams. There's another Zach Deloach. So you wanted the White Sox. I think it was Bailey Horn. <laughs> Bailey Horn, was this the card? Bailey Horn, pitcher? <laughs> living the life she is the breadwinner that's for sure uh tonight it's uh line and kugels uh snowdrift vanilla porter and you might have missed it i uh i said this was the first craft beer 
um, that I ever, that I, I think I drank. I'm sure I, I, the first that I actually, Lyman Kugel's Snowdrift Porter was the first that I actually bought a six pack of. Um, and I really don't even consider Line and Kugel's craft beer anymore because it's so widely distributed now. And, and craft beer isn't like it was six, seven years ago. When I lived in Illinois, in rural Illinois, Line and Kugel's was about as craft. Line and Kugel's and Blue Moon was about as crafty as it got. Um, now I'm in Wisconsin and um, it's hard to find non-craft beer here in Madison. Uh, customs info, as for customs info, game cards under 150. Okay, I'll look into that tomorrow and see if I can do that. Um, I'm thinking, though, in the, in the next couple days, uh, the post office won't be as bad. I actually thought that today, um, because today's, what, the 18th? So we're a week away from Christmas. Um, so I thought it would start dying down today, but it was busier today when I went in than when I went in yesterday. Um it was just, just, just insanity. I think what, what, what day was it? I think Monday was the worst. That was my, my stress level was super high. Ooh, sweet Garrett Mitchell. This is the guy I actually wanted the Cubs to draft in the first round. Uh, Garrett Mitchell out of UCLA. Um, I'm happy with Ed Howard, a local kid out of Chicago, but uh, this is the guy that I wanted. Garrett Mitchell, he went to the Brewers, so I'm going to follow his career. Um, Lee asks, have I got any autos? No. Uh, these are uh, three autos per box, and I think I saw somebody online say all three autos are in the, I think, bottom row. They all come in a row. So I think what I'll do is if they're not in the bottom row, um, if once I find the auto, I'll save those for last. I kind of do like doing that just to, to save them for last. So um, somebody tweeted that out that said... Um, I think it was Rubin is racing on Twitter tweeted out that they, all the autos fall in, in one row, which is pretty common for, for tops heritage miners is notorious for that. Uh, Helio Ramos refractor first Bowman, Kyle Nicholas. There is some serious scratching on these. That's a refractor. I'm not a grader, but I've become as it's become more hot. Robert Hassel first Bowman I'll sleeve him up. Here's Nolan Gorman. I've got to send this to George. Nolan Gorman. I think that was our first trade. Oh, here's a first Bowman Cardinal. I think, George, that was our first trade. Uh, Pete Crow Armstrong. His mom was uh, in Angels in the Outfield. I think I say that every time I pull a card. Oh, here's a insert of Jason Dominguez. Very nice. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a different blog um, for this break. Um, let's leave the bean. This is my third cub, Ryan Jensen, pitcher. Um, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, Lee, not lately, not lately have many Eds made the, the majors. Um, I found an old blog, um, from 2000, and I actually, uh, re kind of uh, republished one of the articles from sweet Luke little, he hit 107 miles per hour. Um, it's like the second fastest recorded pitch. Um, a Chapman is number one at like 107.1 miles per hour. Um, and Luke little posted 107.0 miles per hour pitch. Um, I think that happened um, in like may Adam Seminaris, Jimmy Glowinky. Um, so yeah, so I found this blog. I only posted like six or seven posts, but it's from 2016, November, December um, of 2016. And that's when I was, I loaded up on blowout cards deals and ripped a ton of, of wax that Christmas um, year. And uh, I had a box break of, I think it was the, the Walmart uh, tops holiday, which I think is going to be out soon. Um, it should have, I mean, everything's delayed, but um, I did a box break and I kind of broke down the box, like how, how many base, um, what percent of the set. So I think I'm going to do a, since I just bought the one hobby box of this Bowman draft, I think I'm going to do that just for some fun, a uh, different, different blog. I haven't done anything like that for a while. 
Lee thinks Luke's going to be a, a sleeper. I think so. Um, there hasn't been, while his video of that pitch went viral, um, there hasn't been too much talk, although there hasn't been too much talk in baseball overall, but he hasn't been bandied about as much as Ed Howard. I mean, Ed Howard has just been crazy. I bought some Ed Howard cards on eBay last week. They should be here. I don't think, I think the tracking shows Monday. I've been having terrible Patrick Bailey been having terrible, um, both from buying and selling super slow shipping. I've issued more refunds this month than I think I have most of the year combined. Another first Bowman, Jordan Walker. Here's a refractor of Trevor Larnack. Ooh, this is a Robert Hassel first Bowman refractor. After seeing some of my early sales of, of prospects like uh, Acuna and Giannis, now I'm afraid to like sell anything <laughs> because I I sold some stuff really, really early. Like that Giannis I sold for $68. One sold the other day for $2,100. Oh, here's a sky blue refractor of Bryce Jarvis. I don't think I've pulled a color. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, Lee Hassel needs to be sleeved. That's a refractor. I need to I need to watch it. Um, um, what a sweet card. I was just about ready to say I haven't got any color for the Cubs, but uh, then I pulled this sweet insert. Um, kind of makes up for my lack of, of chrome color. Um, I've pulled, what, two base colors? Well, I guess this sky blue. Bryce Jarvis, but that's like the the redheaded stepchild of, of color. Trevor Larnack, get those sleeved down. Okay, so back to the base. Yeah, dude, that's that's what I've I've done with Heritage Miners. I uh, uh, 2019 Heritage Miners. Um, I opened a case and I put everything outside of the Cubs. I put everything, all the base, all the inserts, all the autos, all the relics, everything in a box, and I just sat on it for a year. And I actually uh, opened it up. This past summer, I went through it a few times just to see when, when guys were getting hot. Um, but I went through and I ended up posting everything this summer. Um, I just, I, I, I have a really hard time holding things. And especially I think it's, it's because of my era, our era of the junk wax where I, I see all these collections of unopened wax with stick with retail price stickers on the box. And it's like, this box was $50 at Walmart. And now it's $5 at your local card show. So I just have, you know, I don't want to be stuck holding the grenade um, when it's all said and done. So I try not to look back, but it's hard not to, you know, when somebody gets hot, it's like, Hey, I remember pulling a, Acuna number to 25 auto. I wonder what that sells for. And it's like, Oh crap. Although Acuna, when I pulled, I pulled some 2017 heritage miners autos of Acuna. Um, they sold really well. I sold a, a numbered, a gray border number to 25 auto for like a hundred. Um, and it's heritage miners. So I can't imagine it's, it's much more than that. It's not going to be like what the Giannis was. Um, here's a Jeff Criswell prism or refractor now i'm thinking basketball marco raya refractor jordan belazovic nick gonzalez he was a good seller in uh in first edition that i was pulling freddy zamora looks like another sky blue but there's like a shimmer behind it Let's see what that is trent palmer jackson coar Sky blue. Joe Boyle. He's a pitcher. Some kind of shimmer. Let's go ahead and get the get all these chromes sleeved. Jackson Kowar, sky blue. 
So, so far, this is, uh, I mean, I haven't pulled any autos yet, but so far, all of this is, with the exception of, like, the the Hassle Refractor, uh, the Gonzalez, those I'll be putting up. But some of these other ones I'll probably just sit on because not worth selling for two or three bucks when they could explode. Although the pitchers, probably not. Joe Ryan, here's another Blake Rutherford. Jesse Franklin, the fifth. You don't see too many. I wonder if there's ever been a fifth in Major League Baseball. Landon Knack. Luis Gill. We had, when I was working at the university at Western Illinois, we had a run on the thirds. And it wasn't, the guys, you know, didn't go by the third, but then when they all realized they were the third, then they started we had Tommy Tyler the third. We had Ciola Clark the third. We had Don McAvoy the third. I think there was a fourth. A fourth third. So we've got, uh, so we're halfway there. So I am low on beer. So I'll do one more pack and then I'm going to run to the beer fridge. So I have an interesting story I'm going to share tomorrow morning on hobby evolution about a tar about my target run. I made two today, Tyler Soderstrom first. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm curious. I think the other Heston, excuse me, Heston Kierstad. I think the vendor may be pulling a fast one or he's changing up his schedule. I'll go into more detail tomorrow morning with that. Brett Beatty. Here's coffee. I don't know him. So who are who are you looking for? Um, Zach, who are you looking for? Uh, I gotta go up in the chat. Croch? Is that Garrett Croch? I don't think I've pulled anything of him in the in the Bowman first edition. Obviously, nothing here. There's a couple of refractors. Here's a Patrick Bailey first chrome. I haven't even looked at the prices on on the chromes. I know early Torkelson was was pretty high, but he was super high. He was selling the uh, uh, Torkelson first editions were selling for like a hundred bucks, a hundred and ten bucks initially. Oh yes, yes. Nice. Ed Howard. Um, I've got to, I've got to hold my thought because we're in the Chrome now. Gerard Encarnacion. David Calabrese. Franchise Futures Padres. Got Robert Hassel and Justin Lang. Oh, speaking of Torkelson. Jeter Downs. Got Cade Cavalli. Another Cub. Two Cub Pack. Miguel Amaya. Chris McMahon. Rockies. AJ Vukovic. Justin Foscu. Was there another Foscu? Uh, Stanford USA has one brother and one sister. Played one season of high school basketball. You know, Bowman Draft in George, I got a I got a shout out to you with the um, reading the backs of the cards. I don't know who writes. I think Japers might write J at J A Y P E R S. Um, but whoever writes the the bios on the back of these cards is is phenomenal. Tink hence. Um, so I don't know if I can get close up to show. Is that going to be reading upside down? Like looking in the mirror. Um, so the biographies are just awesome. Like Tink Hentz, if you couldn't see that, which I don't know if it showed up right on the screen, planned to attend the University of Arkansas, didn't celebrate his 18th birthday until after 2020 Major League Draft. Nicknamed Tink, real name is Markevian, graduated with honors. So there's some some kind of some interesting um I did have it right the first time. Okay. 
Um, there's some interesting biographical notes on the back of these, and I really, I, I, I almost want to binder the set up um, if I get a set or just binder up the cards just so I can read the backs um, because there's some really cool tidbits on the back of these cards. So I, I'm going to talk about Spencer Torkelson prices in just a moment, but first I'm going to go replenish my Snowdrift Porter. I will be right back. We have, so it doesn't look like the autos are in this row. So it looks like they will be in the bottom row. Still three autos to pull. All right, I'm back. Oh, I got to sleeve up Big Ed Howard. Now, Ed Howard went to Mount Carmel. And uh, planned to attend the University of Oklahoma. So, Mount Carmel, back in the 90s, had a stellar basketball team. Now, I only remember one of the players, so I'm going to Google it real fast. I bet Zach probably knows this. Let's see. Riveting. Riveting break here. Just finished my 1991 Upper Deck box. No Jordan, but plenty of that MVP Cub with Bell, Hawk, and Rhino. That's a great card. Okay, that's not gonna say. Maybe it'll have it. Maybe it'll have it in his in his Wikipedia. Uh, let's go to the early years. Okay, so it was it was it was. <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, Mount Carmel where uh, Ed Howard went in the nineties, that high school produced on the same football team, Donovan McNabb, Simeon Rice, who went on to play at Illinois. And then the Cardinals was a first round pick for the Arizona Cardinals and Matt Cushing. Those were all teammates. And then Donovan McNabb played basketball at Mount Carmel with Antoine Walker, uh, who went on to play for the Celtics. So how about that? That's where uh, Ed Howard went to uh, to high school, uh, Catholic school in uh, Chicago. Tanner Burns, Hans Kraus. There's a base, Ed Howard. Yeah, yep, Zach. Uh, Donovan McNabb. Trevor Larnack. There's a Robert Hassel. Helio Ramos. Shane Baz. Carson Tucker. I'd love to pull a super fractor. I have only pulled out of all the boxes I've ever opened. I've pulled one super fractor and it was from tops Chrome update 2016. It was Christian Arroyo who was with the giants and was shortly traded to the rays. That's the only super fractor I've pulled. I've never pulled a Bowman Chrome super fractor. That would be, and opening one box, the odds are against me. C.J. Abrams, Evan Carter, Chrome, Zach Britton, Matthew Liberatore. Yeah, they are. And that is Illinois um, is just, there he is. Zach, there he is, finally. Finally got him. Garrett, is it Crochet? Garrett Crochet. Yeah, people in Illinois are uh, not fond of 
the uh, parochial schools, even downstate. It's actually even worse downstate because the, 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 the cities, the, you know, the small cities, um, you know, pull from the, the rural towns and uh, the rural towns don't like that. Nick Lofton, first Bowman. Like Springfield has a powerhouse, uh, Sacred Heart Griffin, Quincy, Notre Dame, Alamon in Rock Island, um, Bishop McNamara, Kankakee, Bloomington Central Catholic, Peoria, Notre Dame. Crochet. Antoine Walker, famous for blowing through $133 million. Oh. Got Ethan Hankins. So this is the last pack of the row. So the next three packs should be autos. Isaiah Green first. Here's a Riley Green. Jeff Criswell. Jordan Groshans. Yeah, they, the private schools, man, they are strong. Carson Tucker first, refractor. Chamberlain. Julio Rodriguez. Ronnie Mauricio. Another Nico Holsizer. Jackson Coar, Bryce Jarvis. Looks like another insert here. Huh. This is an interesting. Mike Cyani. Applied pressure. It's a diamond. Interesting. And we've got Max Meyer. Nuru Romo. Oh, so I wanted to talk about the uh, the. Uh, uh, Spencer Torkelson. So um, I was looking up early. He was the only one that I was looking up prices for. There's a back to back Garrett Crochet, um, Xavier Edwards. So I he was the only one that I was looking up comps to see what cards were selling for. Like some of the bait, like the bait base paper and, and chrome. I you know I didn't look up um, another Tink Hens, um, but I did look up to see what the the Torkelson base Chrome was just to, you know, if I pulled one of those, what's the return. And I think the early sales were like 60 or $70, which is really crazy. Um, but the initial Bowman first edition were selling between a hundred and 110. Um, and they've settled, they settled really quick because I ended up, moving and selling one for i think 60 66 dollars 68 70 i think it was 70 after shipping so like 70 dollars shipped um which is still hey for a for a base card and you know i basically for the bowman draft first edition i was paying the i paid about the same amount as this hobby box and that's kind of why I decided to buy the hobby box was I didn't want to buy a hobby box because the price is crazy. And then I realized, well, I just bought 20 packs, which isn't even, you know, a box of first edition and I'm not going to get an autograph. Um, so then I realized, okay, I should probably um, <laughs> buy a hobby box and not sound like a, a total nitwit so this is an auto we should have uh the next the final three packs here should be autos i see some color in the in the background carter brumler refractor ben hernandez refractor oh george i missed that uh what people don't know is gardner Minshew is from my hometown and so is victoria vivian's of the WNBA. I remember Gardner when he was in diapers and I used to work out in his dad's local gym. That's awesome. Where was that at? Where's Gardner Minshew from? Austin Hendrick. 
Lee thinking it's going to be a color auto. Looks like it. If it is an auto, it, it it's going to be purple. <clears throat> Clanahan being very careful. Oh, and we've got the uh, the what is that? Sparkle, very sparkly. Travis Swaggerty. It is Hayden Cantrell, and it's a Bowman first non pitcher. Hayden Cantrell. And these are numbered to 250. So I am going to instantly sleeve Mr. Cantrell. And I'm going to top loader him as well. Got my, my case of top loaders in this week. I ordered from uh, Liliana's Cards and Collectibles. Got a pretty good deal on those, and I think I can get an even better deal if I buy direct from their website. They uh, kind of clued me in on that with a with a message on eBay and said, uh, "Make sure to read every piece of paper in the box," which means <laughs> you can save by going through me direct and not through eBay. Um, otherwise, eBay will flag and uh, shut you down. So I am going to reach out and see what type of pricing I can get. I really shop around on top loader prices um, because they really, I mean, even more so now it's more volatile, volatile with the pricing. Um, so I really shop around and I, sometimes I can get good deals used. Sometimes I can actually get a better deal brand new. I was buying from Columbia hobby Um and I ended up paying, before the pandemic, I was paying more for used top loaders than brand new ones through Columbia. So then the pandemic hit and um, it was not the case anymore. So I missed KBO. KBO, his dad and grandpa owned and ran the Karate Dojo. Nice. His dad, Flint, was a beast. Flint Minshew, that just screams um, badass. Super nice guy. We went to church together. Where, and that was at Carthage, Mississippi. Interesting. Are you from Mississippi? If you are, that's you're the first person I've... I think I know from Mississippi. Jeremiah Jackson. Cardinal First Bowman, Alec Burleson. J.J. Blade. He was a first runner last year, I think. Yeah, fourth overall in 2019. Casey Schmidt. I don't see any color sticking out, so we might have a, a base auto here. Mike Cyani, Gerard Encarnacion, David Calabrese, AJ Vukovic, Refractor, Born and Ray is sweet, Tristan Lutz, Refractor. I've never been to Mississippi, been to Alabama, Montgomery, Nick Swiney. Anthony Volp. He's Anthony Volp has been selling really well. Oh, and Casey. Here it is. Oh, and it's a refractor auto. A first Bowman refractor auto. Landon Knack, number to 499. Very nice. Two numbered autos. That is good. That is good. We will take it and sleeve it and top load it. And we've got an insert of CJ Abrams, Hunter Barnhart, Cantillo, Cody Hosey. So since I've got two serial numbered autos, I'm cool if the last auto is just a cub. <laughs> I'm not asking for much. It can even be Jordan Uwogu. Uh, and actually, I have I have priced out, and I, I said I haven't priced any cards out, but I take that back because I have looked up prices on Jordan Uwogu. And it looks like his Bowman Chrome Autos are in like $50 range, which is more than I want to pay. Um, I know Ed Howard is crazy. Cubs prices and breaks are crazy because of Ed Howard. 
So, um, last pack. It's going to be an auto in it. Empty box. I'm pretty happy because part of the money spent is for my entertainment. And I've enjoyed opening this. What more so I've enjoyed is the uh, fellowship that I've had with you guys tonight, Zach and George and Lee. It's been awesome. Thank you for uh, for chatting along. Makes things a little more fun for me. Hans Kraus. Another Ed Howard. That's three Ed Howards. Uh, actually, four. Uh, two base, a chrome, and an insert. I got to get those sleeved up. Robert Hassel. Herman's with me. What's up, Herm? Late to the show. Uh, you're going to see my third auto, though, Herman. Um, Herman has a, a fun show with Texas Car Dude on Monday nights on YouTube. I jumped in with him last week, this past Monday. Of course, uh, George, KBO Collections. Check his YouTube channel out. He uh, does the hobby drive. Very fun stuff. Tristan Cassis, Refractor. Oh, Max Meyer refractor. Max Meyer was, I think, the third overall pick. The Marlins. All right, we've got a we've got a auto in here. I'm going to keep going with the the base. Base of Lacey. Because it's kind of a whimper when you pull the auto and then it's like, oh, and here's the rest of the base. Yes, Lee, I'm gonna check those out tonight. Um, I got a package from, speaking of Alabama, I talk, <clears throat> mentioned that I went to Alabama. Uh, I've got a package from Alabama. Thomas um, sent me a package. Got that in the mail today. So I've got two Cubs packages to open up tonight. So I will get those added to the count. I'm closing in on 525000 Okay, so these are, so I've still got the third auto suspense. I'm going to sleeve the refractors. Take a sip of beer and commence. <clears throat> well, here's the insert that fell out. Had to save it. Oh, Torkelson. I'm going to get him sleeved. Torkelson and Dylan Dingler. Okay. So we got Alec Thomas, Diamondbacks. Riley Halpin. The Cleveland Indians. Oh, with Petey helping. Tink Hentz. Another little known Minshew fact is that his granddad owned the yellow truck in the opening scenes of A Time to Kill. Interesting. The mud was painted on the truck. A zonkey. So is a zonkey the like a zebra and a donkey mate? Interesting. Michael Toglia, Colorado Rockies. Ryan Murphy. The next is an auto. And it's a base chrome auto pitcher Logan Hoffman of the Pirates. Zebra Donkey. Okay. So that is the third auto. So that is Bowman Draft. I am pretty happy with my Bowman Draft results. Um, I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I pulled nine Cubs, a couple of Ed Howard base cards, an Ed Howard Chrome, Miguel Amaya base, the Franchise Futures, which I love those cards, a Luke Little, Ryan Jensen, Burl Caraway, and Jordan Nwogu. So that, those were my, my Cubs hits. Um, <clears throat> the autos, you just saw the Logan Hoffman. That was a base. And then, uh, Hayden Cantrell, purple auto, number to 250. And a Landon Knack, refractor auto, to 499. Did pull some color in here. We've got a Torkelson Franchise Futures. 
uh, insert. Uh, Max Meyer refractor. Let's see. What other? We got Travis Swaggerty Sparkle, I guess. Carson Tucker refractor. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. We've got the Franchise Futures featuring Robert Hassel. I got a Torkelson base paper. I think I pulled two Kierstad papers. Um, let's see. Nick Gonzalez Chrome. Joe Boyle Sparkle. Jackson Coar Sky Blue. Uh, Trevor Larnack Refractor. Bryce Jarvis Sky Blue. Hassel Refractor. That was a big hit. Um, that might have been my got Jason Dominguez insert. Daniel Lynch paper number to four ninety nine. Francisco Alvarez refractor. Uh, Jordan Walker refractor. Uh, D L Hall purple paper. Purple paper. Uh, Zach Veen chrome base. Couple of paper Dominguez. And a Spencer Strider blue. So that was the hits. And that was a lot of fun. Thanks, guys, for stepping in. And uh, I will be back on tomorrow morning. I've got a Target story about the vendor um, that I'm going to share. Going to be maybe some interesting insight. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably know more tomorrow at some point because um, I'm going to pop back in just to just to do some detective work. So uh, that's coming up tomorrow morning, Hobby Evolution. Um, Herman, thanks for stepping in. George, Lee, Zach, thanks for tuning in. And uh, have a, uh, an awesome Friday night. And uh, I'll see you on Twitter and YouTube.